Yantar Mantar in Jaipur, India. The Yantar Mantar Monument in Jaipur, Rajasthan is a collection of 19 architectural astronomical instruments built by the Rajput King Sawai J. Singh II, and completed in 1734. It features the world's largest stone sundial, and is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. It is located near City Palace in Hawimaha. The instruments allow the observation of astronomical positions with the naked eye. The monument expresses architectural innovations, as well as the coming together of ideas from different religious and social beliefs in 18th century India. The observatory is an example of the Ptolemaic positional astronomy which was shared by many civilizations. The monument features instruments operating in each of the three main classical celestial coordinate systems, the horizon zenith local system, the equatorial system and the ecliptic system. The Kapala Yantraprakara is one that works in two systems and allows transformation of the coordinates directly from one system to the other. The monument was damaged in the 19th century. Early restoration work was undertaken under the supervision of Major Arthur Garrett, a keen amateur astronomer, during his appointment as assistant state engineer for the Jaipur district. The Yantar Mantar, Jaipur, is an astronomical observation site built in the early 18th century. It includes a set of some 20 main fixed instruments. They are monumental examples in masonry of known instruments but which in many cases have specific characteristics of their own. The Yantar Mantar is an expression of the astronomical skills and cosmological concepts of the court of a scholarly prince at the end of the Mughal period. The Yantar Mantar Observatory in Jaipur constitutes the most significant and best preserved set of fixed monumental instruments built in India in the first half of the 18th century. Some of them are the largest ever built in their categories. Designed for the observation of astronomical positions with the naked eye, they embody several architectural and instrumental innovations. The observatory forms part of a tradition of Ptolemaic positional astronomy which was shared by many civilizations. It contributed by this type of observation to the completion of the astronomical tables of Zij. It is a late and ultimate monumental culmination of this tradition. Through the impetus of its creator, the Prince J. Singh II, the observatory was a meeting point for different scientific cultures, and gave rise to widespread social practices linked to cosmology. It was also a symbol of royal authority, through its urban dimensions, its control of time, and its rational and astrological forecasting capacities. The observatory is the monumental embodiment of the coming together of needs which were at the same time political, scientific, and religious. The Yantar Mantar in Jaipur is an outstanding example of the coming together of observation of the universe, society, and beliefs. It provides an outstanding testimony of the ultimate culmination of the scientific and technical conceptions of the great observatory devised in the medieval world. It bears witness to very ancient cosmological, astronomical, and scientific traditions shared by a major set of Western, Middle Eastern, Asian and African religions, over a period of more than 15 centuries. The Yantar Mantar in Jaipur is an outstanding example of a very comprehensive set of astronomical instruments, in the heart of a royal capital at the end of the Mughal period in India. Several instruments are impressive in their dimensions, and some are the largest ever built in their category. Integrity and Authenticity The observatory of Yantar Mantar in Jaipur has been affected by its outdoor situation in a tropical area, and then by its temporary abandonment in the 19th century, which has resulted in frequent maintenance interventions and then various restorations over a period of more than a century. Nevertheless, the general integrity of the site has been essentially maintained and partially restored. On the other hand, establishing the authenticity of each individual instrument is more complex, as a result of the many interventions which have taken place. While authenticity is generally unquestionable with regard to the astronomical function, it is more difficult to establish with regard to plasters, instrument graduations, 
some architectural interpretations and the immediate landscape environment of elements of the property. Protection and Management Measures The Yantar Mantar is protected under the Rajasthan Monuments Archaeological Site and Antiquities Act, 1961, under Sections 3 and 4. It was designated a monument of national importance in 1968. The main challenges for the property, which could potentially represent a threat, are controlling the development of tourism, and allowing for urban development in the immediate vicinity of the Yantar Mantar. Major projects to upgrade the district and modify traffic have been announced, and these may affect the buffer zone, and more generally the landscape and cultural environment of the property. It is in particular necessary to specify the measures taken to protect the buffer zone, and to include these measures in the upcoming master plan of the municipality of Jaipur. The system for the management of the property is appropriate, provided that it includes a genuinely overarching management body and provided that the management plan is promulgated. Furthermore, it is necessary to strengthen the scientific expertise of the bodies in charge of managing the property. Like us and join us at Extreme Collections for more fun and knowledge.